You know, Rocky, considering the fact that you are more or less starving to death and you're out in the middle of nowhere Wetzel? with nothing oh, but a horse Wetzel. and a cave to live in, uh, well, I think that your your joyful attitude seems to be quite surprising. He, he seems to be taking everything in stride, my friends, including the fact that, you know, oh, that's right, he has community service tomorrow. I mean, look at him. <laughs> Okay, well, it looks like even if you are going to be starting a Rags to Riches challenge, whilst you are also trying to escape being thrown in the dungeon by a, a small country's very, very upset matriarch's grandchildren, uh, well, it looks like he's still embracing everything, which is kind of amazing. Didn't expect that kind of like playful, like, I'll just take Have on the world sort of personality from him. But here we are. So since that's been uh, established, oh my gosh, he's just like playing in the water anyway. Since that's been established, I think it's safe to say that he doesn't seem too bad in spirits, but then again, being threatened to be thrown in a dungeon and having literally hundreds of thousands of dollars of debt that you need to pay back that you might be able to do now that all you have to do is just watch a horse, of course. Maybe that would put one in a good mood, uh, but you know what else would also put one in good mood? Not dying of starvation before we even get started. <laughs> So hello everyone and welcome, welcome back to our Sims 4 Rags to Riches Challenge. Or I should say it is the Ranch to Riches since you know we have Hercules, our horse. The founding stud of what will hopefully be a uh, 101 Falls Challenge where we are going to try to carry on the very unique and special breed of horse that Rocky's family has been trying to to curate and watch over for several generations. There may not be many of them now, but one day I'm sure these fields will be full of foals, uh, but maybe they need to be full of food first. So <laughs> welcome back everyone. I want to give you guys the grand tour and I want to go ahead and I want to be able to, you know, just settle in, spend more time figuring out what the horses can do. Um, but you know, the whole we have some problems with Rocky trying to starve to death thing is making me realize that perhaps we need to go ahead and go to that one horse town all right and see what it has to offer because even though he's in such a great mood again maybe not being thrown in a dungeon does that to a fellow uh we kind of need to stay alive and i have been letting him catch all of the bugs that have been appearing in his little his little field of the last scrap of what remains of their family land uh the rest of it now being national park where the horses will one day live which is quite nice um except you know the, 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 these bugs i don't think they're adding up into the crunchy buggy deliciousness long pause there that i thought they would because actually it's a lot harder than I remember to go ahead and get our like get our hands on some bugs that we can actually eat. Uh, let's see. And I think what I'm trying to do is I'm very desperately trying to get a a campfire pit that we can actually go ahead and we can eat from. And unfortunately, that is not the billowing bonfire. You would think that you could put the billowing bonfire down and surely that's big enough to go ahead and roast a few beetles. But alas, my friends, that's not the case. I always make this mistake and I almost made it and almost lost what little scrap of money we already have because the billowing bonfire and the junk filled bonfire, and I think there's even one more, do not let you cook at those campsites. However, the cozy backyard fire pit does, and so does the brand new rustic fire pit that's still like another couple hundred simoleons. <laughs> we are not gonna be able to make it a couple hundred simoleons um, before he, we starve to death. And I love that we actually had the very first of our immersive roleplay randomness yesterday when we ran into none other than, uh, Let's see, Celine Lopez, who says she's a mixologist, but what exactly is she mixing? Since she showed up in a hazmat suit, I am a hundred thousand percent saying that actually she's secretly working for a government agency who is frantically trying to clean up some evidence of potentially aliens or just corporate overreach uh, by cleaning up the rivers in this canyon area in the Galloping Gulch. And I love that idea. I really, really, really fell hard for it when I started thinking about it and talking about it with our patrons. <laughs> so here's my thoughts. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Wow. But here are my thoughts. We're at, oh, Froggy, 
Okay, that would be very helpful if it wasn't like a million miles away. How do I, what is going on here? <gasps> Whoa, cave progress. Okay, we're gonna need to like experiment with going in the caverns, but before I go ahead and forget myself, we are going to actually say that Miss Lopez here happens to be working for a secret agency that need her help to go ahead and uh, remove are these literally falling rocks? Oh my gosh, they're literally falling rocks to go with the falling rock sign down there. Good gravy. Am I, is that a potential death hazard? I might need to watch our step. This is a beautiful, beautiful little bridge, by the way. I'm very much in love with this. Oh, look, it's another rock. It's gonna fall. It's gonna, oh, well, no, there we go. <laughs> but I love the idea that Lo uh, Miss Lopez is actually working for that government agency, trying to, <clears throat> clean up the evidence of uh, some not so great disposal of some very important materials. And so we're actually going to say that we cannot fish from the rivers and eat the fish until we gather up and I rolled a, a dice to determine how many until we either help Miss Lopez here by becoming her friend and by going, well, I hope we can become her friend. We'll give it a good college try. Uh, and by collecting at least five of those treasure chests or some of the dead fish, the Mr. Bones dead fish or the gummy fish that you can fish up from uh, fishing spots. And once we find five of a mix of treasure chest, the Mr. Bones fish and the gummy fish, then we'll say that the rivers have been cleaned up and then we can go ahead and eat from them. Uh, but for now, we can't do that. And we may not even like make money off the fish. If we pull up a fish, we may actually say that we can't get any money from it until the rivers are clean. Because, I mean, who's going to go ahead and eat fish from, uh, you know, if they're glowing and the wrong color and they have got too many eyes, maybe a very disturbing, like, little antenna, probably shouldn't eat those. So, with all of that said, I think we need to go into town. Because <laughs> otherwise I think we're going to starve and maybe we have enough change in our pockets that we might be able to scrape together something to go ahead and nom on. So behold, this is the brand new Sims world that we have with the Horse Ranch pack. You guys have probably already seen plenty of overview videos all about it. Uh, it's Chestnut Ridge. This community formed when several groups embraced their mutual connection to horses and the land. The area soon became known as a hub for all things equestrian, a town steeped in expertise with raising and training horses, set against a beautiful and expansive landscape. Over time, the area became famous for another endeavor, as the rich soil brought in the enterprise of nectar making. Thanks to the hard work of everyone involved, the region flourished and it became a chestnut ridge that it is today which is quite sweet. Uh, and also just as a footnote, I haven't been to Copperdale or San Sequoia yet, <laughs> but also Rocky is not allowed to leave this area. He is not allowed to travel outside of Chestnut Ridge until a year has passed and he has given it his all with his community service. It's kind of like house arrest, but for a whole town. So he can't go anywhere else until we have a whole year pass because you know, I mean, just imagine if you like spray painted the Grand Canyon or something like that's the kind of level of naughtiness that he got up to. But for now, let's head over the Oak Barrel, I think maybe or Duke's Hall Park. Duke's Hall kind of looks like it might be a good place to go. But something hits me that Rocky would really want to go over to the bar <laughs> at the Oak Barrel because he is indeed a Sim who wants to make a lot of nectar. So let's head over there with Hercules. I love it. I love how we already have started. Already Rocky's personality is developing without me. Howdy there, swing by the Hey Now Equestrian Center for the best training in town and test your horsemanship in our competitions. We're open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. every day. Why, thank you, friend. Uh, right now, I just need to try not to like die of starvation. So, oh, hey, they've got a little glass roof here, eh? All right, so let's give this a looky-loo. Oh my gosh. Hello, cute little town. 
Ooh, mini goats and mini sh groceries and goods. Okay, we might have to check out the check out the like general goods store because that's freaking adorable. Oh man, I wonder if we could use a combination of the tool mod and uh, Rava's like rabbit hole mods to actually turn a lot of these small buildings into rabbit holes. <gasps> that's a brilliant idea. I think we might want to think about doing that because that would make it so much more interactive because all of these are just, well, this one. This one lets you go ahead. Oh, you could go ahead and buy yourself some uh, some cow person gear, cow poke gear. There we go. And then let's see, what about over here? The back of it, there's a little truck, just kind of taking a little peek -see around the place. And it looks like, oh, this is cute. Is this just like a nice open park? Oh, look at the way the little rocks are set down as a border path. I really like that. Aw. And then I think, are these people's houses? Yeah, I think there's a few houses over here. Just kind of giving it the looky-loo. Can the horses come over here? Because that would be really cool. What about over here? Like, fill with water balloons. <gasps> oh, there's more of the little treasures. Okay, we'll try to dig those uh, little fossil up later because we are definitely gonna need it. Uh-huh, we've got froggies. So there's some frogs that we can go ahead and collect there. Very important to note all of the places we can scrounge up a, a little bit of change. And something tells me that Rocky doesn't really mind having to dig around the place. Uh, like I mentioned before, his parents actually passed away when he was quite young. His mother, unfortunately, passed away shortly after he was born. Uh, and his father passed away in a car accident when he was, you know, about 16 or so. Really unfortunate circumstances in both cases. So he was taken in and raised by his aunt and uncle, we say aunt and uncle, but actually they were like third cousins or so. Not super close family relation, but this family tree has been shrinking over the past few decades. Uh, and he ended up um, kind of filling some of the, the, the emptiness in his heart by becoming very self-absorbed. <laughs> Mix that together with coming of age on social media and you have yourself a wannabe SimSock star who's used to doing things like digging in trash cans and, you know, throwing water balloons at parades and whatever else seems like the most popular trending trend of the month. I have strong feelings about those, as you can imagine. <laughs> So he, he doesn't care like what he looks like as long as he gets some attention, which reminds me, we do need to set his reputation to be really low um, because of what has gone on in his life. Like you wouldn't exactly be super popular for kind of like wrecking the Grand Canyon. So he's not going to really be super popular, but let's get ourselves in here and maybe... Oh, everything. Oh, because it's sparkling clean. Wow. Uh, let's maybe see. What, what, what would it be? What would it be if we wanted to order a little food? <gasps> okay, we could totally do this. We have, there's enough here for food. Okay, what would we want to curry worst? And there's also... Oh, are the chips free? Oh my gosh, if the chips are free. He absolutely would be doing that. And Hercules, I hope you can entertain yourself, I guess. I don't think you're allowed inside, like, the oaken barrel, but it looks like there's horsey stuff you could do over here. Whoa! Herbal remedies? Oh, it's a grill! Wow! Well, we can actually... Bison stew, chicken chimchurri skewers. Oh my gosh. There's a lot on, the, on here. The asado, grilled fruit. See, we could actually make something over here that we wouldn't have to worry about back at home, because back at home has the simple living lot trait challenge. Uh, if you're looking to sell your homemade nectar, I'd be happy to purchase it for above face value uh, due to the current demand. Okay, like, I think that's funny. Who are you? Mysterious voice in my, my ears. Somebody already wants to, like, buy our nectar. Oh, that's kind of hilarious. I love the idea that maybe we're talking with um, this barkeep who seems to feel a little bad for us. Let's go ahead and we should probably order our favorite drink to celebrate. Like, yeah, just, you know... We're going to make it work. We're going to make it work. Maybe introduce ourselves yeah. to a few people in town. Wegren. And then what else do we want to do? Go horseback riding, go rock wall climbing, and join the business career. Well, my friend, you cannot join the business career because of, you know, what's going down. Also, what is our favorite drink? Okay, hang on. I got to turn headline. 
headline effects on please so i can see what our favorite drink is strawberry nectar <gasps> that's adorable okay that makes me pretty happy to know that we like strawberry nectar <laughs> But it makes sense if he does want to become a expert nectar maker that he would want to become friends with the mixologist and the people hanging out at the bar. Speaking of expert nectar maker, nectar is indeed a new skill that we can go ahead and work on making uh, here in the Horse Ranch expansion. And it includes only one aspiration level like I pointed out last time. This sim wants Clever to master the art of nectar making, like honing bars. their abilities of constantly of to consistently craft only the best nectars. They also want to make an absurd amount of simoleons doing it. Uh, so Uchima. if you complete Blot all of the these very difficult Avenue. skill Axel, challenges, uh, then you get the reward lush. trait yeah, nectar know-it-all. These Yo sims can craft pre-aged nectar, Saba, have an Saba, iron Saba, bladder Saba, when it comes Saba, to Saba. drinking nectar, and their negative emotions have less influence on their current Saba, mood. Saba, Saba. So basically, to uh, accomplish that, also we're feeling super confident. Aww, because, like, you know, we've got... Oh my gosh, wait, is somebody flirting with us? Oh, we're, we feel a little flirty from the pleasant nectar feeling. <laughs> smooth sipping we also have pretty tasty it was just chips but i guess he was that desperate he thinks it's decorated well in here i could see him being somebody who would want to like visit all of these places um let's see i wonder if we should like gossip a little bit or small talk uh fish for compliments ask about a day ask about career uh maybe can we talk about like show off muscles i guess we'll show off muscles even though we don't have any because we're you know self-assured and i could see rocky doing that oh all right rocky well you continue to talk to this very uncomfortable woman uh who is this by the way let's see ashlyn what do we know about you ashlyn tell me your secrets uh there's so much new stuff when it comes to just like visiting with the sims because i haven't been here since really any of the likes and dislikes, any of the wants and fears. I had to install a ton of mods last night because I really needed my whims back or my, my whim overhaul. So we have a bunch of mods I'll talk about in the future, but if my wants and fears look different than yours, I went like bonkers last night downloading mods to like tweak the game to make it even more engaging. Once I figure out if they work or not, I'll be sure to share them with you. But for now, Ashlyn uh, Arando, uh, Arondondo, and she is a high school graduate who we're acquaintances with. We have good compatibility. They may not become best friends instantly, but it won't be a challenge for them to get along. Um, and that's all we know about her. Totally cool. Totally cool. Just having a casual conversation. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Okay. Uh, in any case. Oh, hello, more people. Basically, everybody but a few people in the entire all of the worlds are uh, randomly generated too, just to give us a fresh start, because I love randomness! You guys know how much I love it. Uh, Alright, but meanwhile, Rocky, while you finish chit-chatting... Also, like, why is there classical music playing? This place is fancier than I thought it would be. Oh, hey! And now we're also meeting with Julius uh, Agawa. Let's take a peek at you. Dang! Like, everybody looks really cool. Okay, hi guys. Very nice to meet you. Uh, apparently we're feeling super flirty and we're very adventurous, so I could see Rocky <laughs> being in here. <laughs> but to accomplish the extra, expert nectar making achievement, what we need to do is reach level five of the nectar making skill. In build mode, go to the outdoor activities and in the outdoor section, place down a root and tootin' fruit and nectar maker in the active lot. Harvest ingredients from a garden or buy them, then choose to craft nectar. As your sim produces the nectar, they will level up their nectar making skill. Make 50 excellent bottles of nectar. Also, woo! We just got the charisma skill. I'll take it. Man, this is kind of fun. Just like kind of turning my eyes away. Aw, hey! And Hercules is feeling a little bit bored. You know what? I think Hercules like fussing would definitely, definitely go ahead and get some attention. So maybe we'll come out and we'll just kind of be like, Hercules, hey, what's wrong? All right. So let's say that. All right. Bye, guys. It was nice meeting you. Did I meet all of you? I met just one of you. <laughs> 
<laughs> it looks like Julius and uh, Margaret here were a little too busy to chat with us. Meanwhile, since Hercules, oh, hey, it's a horsey. Since Hercules, oh, and there is actually Miss Crumplebottom of all things. Hercules is feeling uncomfortable from being incredibly bored. Getting cheered up by a friend or playing with another horse would help. The hey now one big ball toy is always a fun time too. And meanwhile, his fun is poor, his hunger is low, his energy is excellent, and his social is good, and his hygiene is good. Oh, can I, can I, like, scratch his neck? How can we take good care of him? Let's talk to him. Let's go ahead and tell joke. Does that help us out? That's so cool. So this is how you can see what the needs of your horses is. You kind of need to be able, oh, are you scared of something, Hercules? You need to be able to hover over them and have headline effects on in order to see the details. I kind of enjoy... Oh, now we're talking about death? Oh my gosh. Rocky, we don't joke about, like, horses dying, okay? Clearly, he's not enjoying that. Let's try again. I think him getting agitated, like, Rocky would feel a little bit like, ah. Oh, there's another horse! Maybe we can become their friend, too! We've got to hurry and get like a little stable built so we can get the very first of the um, the mares who are going to temporarily join us to help out with raising the uh, 101 foals, many of whom will be not only from our patrons, but from the ability that we have to actually go ahead and adopt. You can come over. I need to figure out like where it is. <laughs> But you can indeed go ahead and you can adopt one of the business. I guess it would be like home. Have science baby as a single parent. Call ranch animal exchange. And then you can go ahead and you can rescue a horse if we had uh, enough funds, which we currently do not. <laughs> but I like that idea that being able to rescue them. We might have a challenge where we need to have at least uh, one stable for like the foals and things like that um, before we go ahead and rescue them. But we need to we need to do that at some near point here. All right, let's see horse skills. Maybe talk about social life to be like, yo, Rocky. I was trying. It's it's raining out here. I was trying to go ahead and make some new friends. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, and looking around with all of the rabbit hole places, I truly think what might be really useful. Uh, and then what's going on now? We're just having a chit chat with Rocky. Or excuse me, with Hercules. I think with all of these rabbit hole places, if I can use that combination of the tool mod, uh, and I can... Wee! Okay, okay, what's going on here? Oh, now his hunger is poor! Okay, no, we've, we've, got, to, we've got to do something about this. Let's go ahead and mount up. And then, oh, this is the, the man. Wait, is he like, what is he doing? Is he like trying to call people over to like, to like get people to buy something from him? Who are you, sir? Mysterious rancher, Roberto Crinkletop, an elder. What are you up to? Like, who are you calling out to? What do you want? I don't know if I would listen to a strange man who was just trying to, like, lure me. Ah, okay, no, no, here. We need to get back on, get back on our horse. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I, don't, I wouldn't listen to a strange man trying to sell me nectar. Uh, that's all the nectar for today, folks. Hope to see you again soon. That's so weird. I'm going to have to remember that because that was, like, surreal. Just to see an old guy trying to, like, wink, wink, nudge. Come on, come on, friends. We can totally go ahead and you can buy my nectar. Well, you know, if Rocky had been able to calm Hercules down in time. Why are we browsing the web when I, what, what, what's happening here? Come on. Can we mount up? Yeah. Very uncomfortable. Oh, we got bucked off. <laughs> okay, that's kind of hilarious. Let's trot here again. All right, what do you think, Rocky? Are you and Hercules gonna be able to pull it off this time? Yay, they're pulling it off! <laughs> I'm trying to get to the general store to see if we can go ahead and we can get Hercules some, wee! <laughs> and we can get Hercules a little bit of food because this is more than slightly hilarious in my humble opinion. Oh my gosh. All right, there we go. So, 
Rocky. Don't know about this, personally. Feeling kind of dubious about the whole thing. Uh, but I suppose that's just the way things roll from time to time. What is going on over here? This is a huge place, too. Wow. Okay, this world is really big. And the tool mod, which lets you place things anywhere in the world that the Sims can reach, absolutely is going to help bring all these little rabbit holes to life. It's going to help me feel like there's more dynamic, uh, like, inter-pack stuff going on and let's go ahead and shop for some groceries to see if we can get ourselves and our horse some noms all right are we gonna get off it's the happiest hour of all for cheapskates everyone enjoys a drink at a discounted price well normally <laughs> normally that might have uh rocky's attention that's hilarious i love the look of when they're just mounting the horse for the first time this is just so funny to me. Just the way that they're they're desperately trying to cling on. That probably would be me, but I've gained a little bit more confidence. Uh, just a touch with horseback riding the few times I've done it over the years. Uh, but yes, so, okay, wait. Hey, shop for groceries. And then what do we have here? Craft a bottle of nectar. Cloud gaze with Nessa, uh, which is his cousin. And we have some food, thank goodness. <laughs> Oh, I like sending him over here. Hey, we've got fishing books. That might help us out with being able to clear up the uh, the way that the river happens to be polluted, but we're going to need to look into that. Gardening. Gardening would definitely help in order... Oh, gardening! <gasps> Rocky Jolly would be the kind of guy to just grab some grapes or strawberries, his favorite thing, and just shove them in the ground and be like, obviously that's going to go ahead and like work, and I'm going to be able to just have all of the the like amaz amazingly delicious nectar I want. Also, thankfully, there's some prairie hay grass, so we'll buy a few of those. We'll buy a strawberry. And then we'll go ahead and mm, will we buy a raspberry? I mean, raspberries sound really good too. Uh, sugar, it's an ingredient. Mighty plant milk, lemon, horseback riding. I think I think Rocky would definitely be the kind of person to go ahead and he would get himself a strawberry and a grape because he's like obviously you just throw these into the dirt and it's super easy to go ahead and and just start like chowing down on whatever you want right we'll even get him okay we can't even get him an apple i think wait can we get him an apple okay we can get him an apple if we wanted to maybe oh can we feed our horse a carrot okay we'll grab an apple and a carrot and another apple and another apple and Okay, we gotta back up one apple. <laughs> because I love the idea that Rocky's thinking like, yeah, horses like apples, right? There we go. I'm sure that'll be fine. Meanwhile, horse carrot, let's go ahead and hand feed. I guess I have to wait for him to get out of there for the prairie grass. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. And then, of course, he wants to have a drink from being at the bar. Oh, look, and there's more horse manure. Well, at least we can go ahead and toss that into our inventory. <laughs> oh my gosh. But all right, guys, so this is a little bit of poor quality manure, eh? Uh, let's see. Not recommended to use as fertilizer. Interesting. See, that could go towards, like, the nectar-making thing that Rocky wants to do. I wonder if he's going to start, as his stomach begins growling more and more, realizing that maybe things aren't quite as easy as he thought they would be, eh? But all right, guys, so... As usual with our Sims legacies and Let's Plays, I am going to do my best to pivot where we pop it at whatever the, the actual random things that happen in the game show us, like the fact that we're going to have the river be polluted because we happen to go ahead and meet Celine Lopez, who says she's a mixologist, but I think she's actually mixing out some mm, very, very secretive, very top secret things that got leached into the water and we might actually be roped into helping her out mostly just so that we can actually you know drink the water from our own well which would be really swell <laughs> and we'll continue to evolve how the rags to riches challenge and how this world is going to work for us as time goes on but for now let's go ahead let's make sure our horse is taken care of with another like maybe uh Maybe a little talk to. <laughs> and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.